this video right here is made for you. You wanted to start your dreads, but a lot of things are stopping you. One of them being fear, what people may think, what you will look like. But I'm here to tell you today that till you try, you won't know. So listen to this video. Listen to this word to word, second to second, everything that I put down on this video because it will help you, because it will help you get to your dreads, your own looks. I'm Activers. Intro! Intro! Guys, today I'm gonna be having heart to heart talk with y'all because I made this video for those that never ever stepped out to get dreads or uh, never had the courage or the they don't think that they have the clarity to start dreads. And I'm bringing it to you guys and telling you guys, you guys, anybody can start dreads. It don't matter what type, what texture, uh, what uh, ethnicity that you are to start dreads and to feel like you can be part of dreadhead crew, basically. I'm Activerse, and you guys have seen me do dread review, uh, not dread reviews, but you guys have seen my dread journey from the past year till now, and it's been great. Although people think that my hair is very nice, I, I appreciate people that think that, but I have struggles just like everybody else. I didn't know if I wanted to get dreads in the beginning. I didn't know if I wanted to have certain type of dreads and what kind of dreads and all that stuff till I actually did it and I ended up liking it. And so all to say is that whatever that you think that is stopping you, face that, face that reality and actually step out to start your own dread journey. I'm gonna be actually soon shooting a video for you guys how to start your dread channel and how to grow it also so you guys can learn step by step where I'm at and where I got to. Uh, things always work out if you're consistent with it and you have to be consistent with with everything including your dread journey and so if you have not started your dread logs because you're scared or you don't know what you're doing you haven't decided and made that decision yet this is your time to do it I am making this video for you to be encouraged I'm making this video for you so that you can have the next step I'm making this video for you so that you can step out and do it don't be scared that you will ruin your hair or damage your hair or get to a place to where you won't like your hair because if you have not tried something how can you say you can you have full insurance that you have that something wrong would happen and a lot of people think that just because they do stuff with their hair that they're damaging their hair but that's not true products are the ones that damage your hair heat is the uh, one of the things that can damage your hair and also uncleanliness and not being able to maintain with your hygiene on your hair will damage your hair based on what type of hair that you have. For example, my hair, I could literally just let it sit like this and it would just freeform lock for the, le for the rest of its life. But some hair would actually start to fall off and you know have issues if they don't do anything with their hair. So they have to comb it or do other stuff with it. If you are avoiding the heat, the products, and also the uncleanliness part of any hairstyle, I think you will have a good uh, progress. I believe you have a good progress to the next level of hairstyle, which is it could be dreadlocks, it could be curly hair, it could be anything else. But today I'm gonna be focused on dreadlocks. Dreadlocks are really easy to get. There's a few methods that you can get it with. One of the methods that I used was instant lock, which is buying a crochet hook, locking it together, just like how Gunther Gray did for my hair. I never was able to do my own hair and uh, I didn't lock my own hair because of the reasons that I wanted him to lock my hair and have footages and also the ability to help you guys out in your guys' journey. If you guys haven't checked out the video, please check out the video. If I remember, I will link in the description the video. And don't be afraid to start your dreadlocks. I think a lot of people are getting stopped by their fear of what their family may say or they don't know what their hair is gonna end up looking like. And I'm here to tell you that your hair will be just fine because your hair will always grow back. However you end up having it, it will always get back, grow back again. If you cut it, it will grow back again. And that's the good thing about hair because it will always grow back. And so let, let that not stop you. And also the family, if you're a family, some family members I'm just, just not used to dreadlocks or have never seen it, or they think that it's crazy hairstyle or it's very dirty, it's unhealthy. But if you guys show them the facts and the benefits and also, the looks they actually may like it i'm not saying go against your family to do this 
but I'm just saying sometimes you have to open their eyes up by just keep keep on asking them and also being able to show them and, uh, statistically or uh, logically or the facts of what dreadlocks and you know how great and amazing they are and there's so many videos for those also and the roots to the, where it came from where it originated they will support you trust me you just have to talk to them and sometimes he, they can't say that it doesn't look good on you until you actually show them and i'm not saying go behind their back and do it i'm just saying like edit a photo of you or something like that and put a dreadlocks on your head <laughs> i don't know do something <laughs> But all to say that is that some don't let fear get to a hold of you mainly of you stepping out and getting your dreadlocks. Get your dreadlocks right this instant. As I'm talking to you right now, you should be grabbing your locks and locking them junks. Locking them junks and locking them junks. Locking them junks and locking them junks. Locking them junks and locking them junks. Locking them junks. It don't matter how how perfect they are or they're not everybody gonna have their own drill locks based on how they did it and how their hair grows so you're gonna have a unique drill lock set just for yourself just like i do i don't think my drill locks look like anybody else's you can kind of compare and say it kind of looks like his or that or here and there at the end of the day my drill lock is unique to myself i have made a video actually unique things about my dreads and i mentioned like three or four of it on there but there's more to it you know what i'm saying and so that's all I'm saying. Like, if you start your locks, it don't have to look like mine. It could be, it could look like just like yours. <laughs> section it out based on how you can. Uh, if you have done two strand twists and stuff like that, you guys already know how to section it out. And it's very easy, very easy. Don't let fear hold you. Don't let fear hold you. Go do it. Go do it today. I believe in you. Activers believe in you. You have had so much question. You have asked a lot about it. You have said this. How do you do that? How do you do this? How do you do that? Man, it's about time you do it now. It's about time I see some pictures and tell me I did it and I watch your videos. You know what I'm saying? It's about time you start saying that. It's about time you quit asking questions in the comments. It's about time you quit DMing me and tell, asking me what should I do? What should I do? What should I not? I made so many videos for you to start your dreadlocks and be in a good position to where you're in a dread journey. I appreciate you for following. I'm not here to bash you. I'm here to support you and to say that you can do it. And if I can do it, you can do it you can do it thank you guys for following me thank you guys for subscribing make sure you give it a thumbs up so that it can reach it to the next person that is discouraged about their hair but till next time keep acting the verse and creating your universe i'm activerse and i'm out deuces